Well, we're just one week out from voters deciding the outcome of the most expensive race for a judicial seat in Wisconsin history, possibly the entire country. Liberal candidate and Milwaukee County Judge Janet Protosewitz is facing conservative former Justice Daniel Kelly. Action 2 News recently sat down with both of them. In Your Voice, Your Vote coverage, Jason Zimmerman shows us tonight where Dan Kelly stands. Spending in this race between both candidates is expected to top $30 million by next week. According to an analysis by WISPolitics.com, money coming in from all over as abortion rights, election boundaries, and other issues could be ruled on by the next justice who will also determine whether the court has a liberal or conservative majority. In the front lobby at WBAY, we sat down with Daniel Kelly and asked what makes him a better choice than his opponent, Janet Protasewicz. So as I go around the state of Wisconsin, I talk about the things that courts do. I talk about the Constitution, the rule of law, judicial philosophy, what it takes to be a good jurist. And my opponent goes around the state talking about, well, politics. Whoever wins will almost certainly weigh in on the state's 1849 abortion ban, as the state attorney general has filed a lawsuit challenging its legality. The proposition that he's putting before the court is that a 1985 statute on abortion uh, impliedly repealed the 1849 statute on abortion. So that's the way a legal question comes to the court. And so our job as jurists would be to, uh, to answer that question. Does a later statute impliedly repeal a former statute? The subject on which the statutes are, are addressing are just not really relevant to the analysis. While Kelly has been endorsed by pro-life groups, he won't commit to upholding the ban. So there's a chance you could strike down the 1849 abortion law if elected. Yeah, if that's what the law requires. Kelly also says the issue of redistricting isn't a court issue and should be decided in the state legislature, unless the boundaries don't meet specific requirements by law. He's also critical of Protosewitz for openly calling the maps rigged. The responsibility of a jurist is to come to each case with a, an open mind and consider the arguments as made by the parties to the case and not to prejudge them. I mean, if you... Uh, if you're going to prejudge issues, why bother to have a case? As for some of the attacks and allegations made during this campaign against him, Kelly is especially critical of a TV ad calling him a monster for defending a child sex predator. Because I know she wants to use that to make me look bad. But think about what she's saying. She's saying that the only reason I would be on that case uh, is because of approval of the crimes of which they were accused of committing. Now that's a thoroughly preposterous statement. In fact, I think the technical definition of that is stupid. I also spoke with Janet Protosewitz and asked many of the same questions. You can see her interview and how she responded Wednesday night at 10 o'clock. Back to you.